faith doesn't have to make sense to you. My faith doesn't have to fit into your box. My faith doesn't have to fit in a graph or a chart because when I know it, I know it. And when I know it, you can't talk me out of it because you didn't talk me into it. Faith is a real thing. I need somebody to clap your hands one time. I'm just going to preach for a little bit, then I'm going to go sit down. But I want you to say faith is a real thing. You know, we think we want a whole bunch of stuff. We think everything we want is the right thing. But I'm here to tell you, in my little years that I've been with God, I've learned that you don't pray what you want all the time. You ask God, your will be done. Amen. You ask Amen. God to bring the one that is His will in your life. You ask God to open the doors that is of His will for your life. Or, people of God, you might get you a saw, or you might get you some doors that open that will destroy you. Deborah went to war. Deborah went to war as a prophet and a judge and directed a whole army. Elisha dealt with kings. Everyone dealt with kings. When Jesus was born, at least 70, 75 kings came from the east into Jerusalem and confronted Herod, who was a king, and came to say, we've come to worship the king. Everything was political. There's never a time when it's not. It's because there is where spirits fight for the control of men. He's calling you. I said he's calling.